So firstly, I am so glad to be here to share our experience. And uh, I thank for Dr. Lee's recommendation. And uh, I thanks for the invitation from Professor Reddy. Uh, at the time, we are all in the very hard situation. So we call it in the post viral area. So all were in uh, one village. So I'm in Shanghai now. Uh, this is our hospital. And our hospital usually very focused on the scientific research. And we have many important uh, centers. Up to now in Shanghai, our center's cases rank to top one. So also we have some experience. So our hospital will build uh, another new building very soon. So, and uh, I hope we can have a new area because the center up to now, it, we are in the seventh floor, a little bit smaller. So our hospital began to build a new building at the end of this year. So I hope our hypo center can continue to expand it. We have applied for 800 square meters space. Okay, not very clear, thank you. Maybe it can become the largest hypo center in China. In this way, we have enough space and ability to accept visiting whatever from inside of China or outside friends. So usually, uh, every month we have visitors from different hospitals. So our team helps to build a world-class high force team. So this way make, uh, will take at least 10 years or more, I feel. So at the person in charge of opening, so I am the first uh, doctor to respond for high force in our hospital. I will try my best to accumulate profound uh, experience. So I will introduce our experience here. So the history we already know very well. This is a world picture. So we can see the Singapore Dr. Lee. He is very good for Tim Tama. So the friends beside me said the people can't hear my voice. Dr. Rally, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Would you can you hear my voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can clearly. hear you, please. Hear you. Your voice okay, clearly. The, the small friend, the little friend beside me said, some people can't hear. So Singapore, let me remind Dr. Lee. Uh, he is my teacher, also the brother, also karaoke friends. He <laughs> sings karaoke very well. So this is a very magnificent center, we can see, very amazing center. So the Chongqing Haifu can connect everywhere like heart to heart. So our center also connects uh, with them every day. So we will see here the beautiful, beautiful light, just like blooming fireworks. So I hope in the future, we can see some fireworks in Indonesia. Hopefully. So this is a mechanism. This is already Zhang Li and Professor mentioned. So this is our per, uh, experience. The first is skin pre preparation. This procedure performed by nurse. So here we can see that this is the first step for patients, very easy. And the second step is evaluate the lesion and the vascular supply of lesion. This is through MRI. I usually compare MRI uh, to the GPS guide when we driving. So very important thing, we evaluate it uh, correctly, the size of the lesion. And the third step, uh, we throw ultrasound guide to hypotherapy. We will see here um, the very clearly the blood is a very important organ to protect the bowel. So we will find the posterior lesion here, adenomyosis. And then uh, we will see the white color, 
great skill change inside of the lesson. So that is uh, usually happened if you have a lucky hand. Um, many colleagues call my fingers is golden fingers and uh, always mention I have lucky hand. Inshallah, and I hope I can keep these lucky hands. And this is the first second best. We can see the beautiful white color here. So it means high full performing the good, very good uh, effectiveness results. So this is our center. So we will see the patient lie on the bed. And this is our anesthesia. She can look up the patient very well. So we can see the performing table. They are exactly five screen. So we should have a very good eye. So in our center, the, the common case we perform, the first choice is adenomyosis. Second is uh, myoma. Third is cesarean scar pregnancy. And uh, another one is adenomyosis abdominal. I found some very good uh, people to, for uterine fibroids. So we will see here the huge cases. So based on this observation, so we will find the high food is very good choice for the fibroid. This is for adenomyosis, two years follow-up research. So it's also very good. And this paper from Professor Zhang Lian, high intensity focus on ultrasound ablation for uterine fibroid. And uh, we will find a very good uh, prospective study. So the conclusion is high full cost subsequently less mobility than surgery with similar large term cure. Despite the group baseline difference and the backup finding, this finding supports the need for uh, randomized control RCT. So we have a uh, clinical RCT center now in our hospital. We are doing some MRI um, and the HIFO study. HIFO treatment for fibroids, idle experimental design that facilitate RCT control. So this is a very good paper for C-section pregnancy. So we will see also can very useful through HIFO. This is also the C-sex scar pregnancy. So this is a placenta acrea. So also HIFU can play a very good role. So HIFU treatment followed by hysteroscopic resection is safe and effective to treating patients with PA. So this is for the abdominal wall adenomyosis. We have cases later we'll show. This is based on this result. It appears that either high full or surgery is safe and effective in treating patients with uh, ABE in short term compared with surgery. High full treatment for ABE has advantage or shorter hospital stay. So we begin high full from 2015, uh, nearly five years. In whole China, we are in the third. Uh, level here. So this is a uh, cases from 2050, end of 2050 up to now. We are already nearly to 2,000 cases, 1,400. We will see the common cases we choose for HIFO is adenomyosis and myoma. And we also published two papers. The first one is for adenomyosis. We combined the three steps. The first is HIFU instead of surgery. So as a sophisticated surgeon of the long-term gynecology, we will find that actually the adenomyomectomy to some extent is not have very good results, easily recurrence. So high full can instead of surgery for adenomyosis. The second step is GnRHA or other medicine. And the third is Marina. This is the three steps for adenomyosis. 
we already had a very good result. The second paper we published just recently, high intensity focus ultrasound treatment for diffuse uterine leomyoma, a feasibility study. So the so first is for three steps. Except the GnRH8, we usually use the dinogestone and the mifepristone and also the gospel acetate. This medicine from plants. Uh, in the many years ago, it was found from the professor from in uh, in upside. In, I forgot the which country, and for use uh, fertility infertility for male. So three. So third step is marina. So as we know, the marina can have a very can play a very important role. So this is the uterine cavity that put Marina 13 years. So the pathology result, we can see the um, not any hyperplasia or any change. But we found the Marina had some relation with breast cancer or some other breast disease. So for the Leomyoma, multiple leomyoma. So we found that they are not a very good surgery. So this is a very important picture from our study. So for A, we will see posterior adenomyosis. And uh, one day after HIFU, we will see the ablation uh, nearly 80%. And after 18 days, we can show the beautiful shape of the uterus. So this is a VAS score and the volume score compared before operation and after operation and the hemoglobin and the uterine volume we can see shrink gradually. And uh, also the very important marker CA125 can decrease the very well. So the conclusion for our first study we will find the lowers of the risk of uh, hysterectomy compared. So second, high four is safe and effective and uh, efficient. It can improve the patient's quality of life. Though mostly the patient come to our center, they wouldn't like accept the hysterectomy. They want to keep their uterus. So second study is for the diffusion uterine leomyoma. This kind of disease actually except hysterectomy, no other choice before. So up to now, we find that from a uh, paper, nearly 61 cases. In our center, we did eight cases. In this study, we successfully treated uh, with high food. Our patients were young. Uh, the average age is 32. All the patients presented with uh, menorrhagia. The important symptom is menorrhagia, and one patient also compare of dysmenorrhea. So six patients previously underwent hysteromyomectomy before. So we met one patient already do five times myomectomy, and one patient received transabdominal myomectomy twice. So five of them were multi-parallel. All of these patients had a great desire to preserve their uterus. So as shown in the table two here, the uterine size was uh, shrink the, uh, the, the very large, approximately 20 gestational weeks. And the mean uterine volume is here, so very large one. Five patients had never given birth before, and all eight patients wish to remain. They want to have a child later. All of the patients had anemia, and the main uh, pretreatment serum hemoglobin is lower when they were uh, admitted to the hospital. So one patient had changed in C125. As we know, in the myoma, the C125 seldom have uh, any change. So we, we do the high four here. So ablation risk is lower than average 
liquid like others myoma or adenomyosis. So this diffusion leomyoma is very hard to treat. Here we can see the first picture. So many small myoma inside of the uterine cavity, like Dr. Lee mentioned, actually uh, like uh, sub submucous myoma is good for hysterect hysteroscopically treatment. And the pedunculally subserious myoma is good for laparoscopically. But these kind of uh, types everywhere we can see the myoma. And here, so we can see the different signals. This is after treatment. We can see the whole size of the uterus shrink very well. So before and after high full, we can see the uterine volume and uh, also the menstruation and hemoglobin all change very well. So based on our result, high full is suitable for young patients with DOL and may lead normal menstruation and improve quality of life. The hypo treatment is also safe and effective. Now, this is a co-operative paper with Professor Zhang Lian, and this is a adenomyosis type. As we know in the textbook or other material, we seldom see the very specific and suitable types uh, for classification for adenomyosis. So we based on the textbook, divide into two types, focal and the diffuse. And then we divide the uh, A to B and C. So A means external, in ex internal, external, and the intramural. This is, a, for example, for adenomyosis 2C, diffused intramural type. So before I full, we will say after, we can see the very precise ablation posterior and the anterior also. So we will show our some cases here. So first is focal adenomyosis. And after HIFU, we will see the coming to the small, the right shape. And this is second case, also the posterior adenomyosis. One day after HIFU, we can see mostly ablated by HIFU. And uh, after nearly three months, we can see the small size. And this is the first one. So first one also the focal adenomyosis. So we can see uh, posterior lesion ablated very well. And this is not very good one. And this is another case five. So we can see the mostly <coughs> in posterior adenomyosis and the uh, 16 months later, so smaller, much smaller. And this is a uh, case six, also the adenomyosis. We can see the heart shape ablation here. So third picture is after three months, the size of the uterus much smaller. And then we, uh, we did the hysteroscopically ablation. Uh, we exclude all the tissue from the uterine cavity, and right side picture is clean uterine cavity, and we put marina. For this step, we can get tissue from uh, um, adenomyosis, because some doctors said high food, the big thickness is no pathology. So this is also the good way we got tissue to do pathology to exclude malignant disease. So this is... Uh, surgery we did recently. So for the patients up to 40 years old, we usually do resection of endometrium. This is also the one type of treatment before for adenomyosis. So this first video for the anterior resection of endometrium. Second video is posterior of endometrium. And we will do some, uh, this is for nearby the cervix. So after this step, the patient will not know any uh, menstruation. So for adenomyosis, the choice sometimes is menstruation or uterus. So there are no menstruation, they will know any pain. So we have very good educate for our patient. 
tell them the adenomyosis is a chronic disease, uncurable disease. We need to do long-term administration. So if there are no uh, menstruation, like uh, pelvic vampire, there are no blood and then no mm -hmm. adenomyosis. This is a diffusion adenomyosis. And we will see this is uh, also the diffusion one. Uh, here is some myoma cases we can see three months later can shrink very well, very small. And this is also myoma. And this is a very good example for submucous, the very big submucous myoma, but it's very hard to take it through hysteroscopically one time. So we can combine with hypo. Like uh, Dr. Lee mentioned, the very good case is similar. So after six months, we can see the very tiny, smaller submucous myoma here. So we can take it through hysteroscopically easily. And this one is also the our very typical and beautiful arts. So uh, five millimeter myoma, after five months, we can see they are nothing. That is a magic. And this case, we can see the myoma also after eight months, smaller. So we have a very hot discussion uh, just now. So the doctor's asking how long time the size of the myoma can shrink. But usually uh, half, half a year or the eight months, the myoma sometimes can disappear. But it depends on the patient situation. This is uh, for multiple myoma. We will see the very big size of the ut uterus. <clears throat> shrink the very well here, the first and the third one, so we can see smaller. This is our uh, field cases. Also, <clears throat> the doctor mentioned uh, the hypo cannot replace the surgery. That is right. For this kind of uh, cases, we never choose hypo now. So that is our experience. This is a cellular leomyoma. It can recur very soon. We we did a hysteroscopically operation already. So this is also the diffusion uterine myoma we already shared before. And this is for cesarean scar pregnancy imaging here. So after high full, we will see the ablation is very well. Here we throw hysteroscopically, we can see the very good uh, vision here. So we take the chronic really sample. And this is a pancreas placenta agrita. This is a very good case also we, we did recently. So we will see after four months later, the uterus beautifully recovery. This is also placenta cases. So this is for abdominal wall adenomyosis. It's also the hard one. So we will see uh, one day post the high full, we can see the ablation, the small lesion here. After six months, disappear. Only the very slight scar here. So this is also the for adenomyosis. So this is our first high full baby. So we can see before operation, the myoma shrink very well. It will not influence. And we build the caring uterus club with patient and with doctors. So our thesis, we build a five WeChat group for patients, answer the question day and night. And our patients said, oh, there is a very good relation between, between doctors and patients. So <laughs> through my WeChat, we can see Nearly every outpatient time, I can receive flowers from patients. Oh, this is our 1,000 cases high for baby. We celebrated uh, 1,000 cases two years ago. This is uh, in, in Chinese uh, patient service plan. We have many medium platform for patients. We have day and night answer the question. This is our a colleague. She has adenomyosis, very pain. And she seek the many ways to find many doctors. And uh, she had a 
finally find Haifu and she, she feels herself can alive. So this is my colleague. I, get the, I got permission from her to share the picture. So she said the trust of the patient and the peers in driving first for us to move forward. So this is a picture from my youngest son. I have a little son. He can paint uh, some of picture. So protecting the uterus may defend the dignity of women. So we have many patients, they wouldn't like uh, those uterus. So uh, finally, I want to share the Mother Talisha's work. We can't all do great things, but we can all do small things, very tiny small things with great love. So I hope I thanks again for all of you, especially Dr. Lee and uh, Professor Reilly. I hope all of you can have very safe life in the special time and welcome in the future. After virus disappear, we can meet in Shanghai or meet in <coughs> somewhere. Hopefully. And uh, I, I went to uh, Bali two years ago with my little son. So I feel the Jakarta had a very, Bali also the very beautiful memory for me. This is uh, Lisa from local Bali. So welcome to Shanghai.